frightened me. Um, I love thinking about Alzheimer's prevention. It's one of the things that really excites me. I just had a birthday on Saturday, turned 71. And if I make it to 85, which I plan on it, 50% of people 85 and older will be diagnosed with dementia. So you have a one in two chance of having lost your mind. And I'm like, no. But is this a tool that's going to decrease cognitive load um, that then increases my risk? What's cognitive load? How much work my brain actually does. And I was thinking, it's, you know, it's like going from a 20-pound weight to a two-pound weight, and you're not nearly as strong. One of the important things to say about this study is it's not peer-reviewed. And I think that's really important to say. And the author said, because I listened to an interview from the authors, they said, we thought this was so important and peer review can take six to eight months, which it absolutely can. And we thought this needed to get out. So it's just important for people to know that. What's this link, your, this hypothesis you have between the usage of something like ChatGPT and dementia? For someone that doesn't understand the sort of mechanism there, around cognitive load and and so on, and the studies that support this idea that if you have less cognitive load, you're at higher risk of dementia. Can you make that link really clear for me? 